Hi everybody, this is Adam just with a quick video to explain the Forum 2A process for um, Week 2 in EDFT 460. So when you access the Week 2 information um, on Leo for EDFT 460, you will, when you scroll down to the discussion forums, you'll see that Forum 2A, which is called What Kind of Thing Might Imagination Be, has um, a particular process that we are going through when we when we um, submit our post to this forum. So you will see that as part of the virtual workshop 2, this forum is actually going to be graded and it's going to be graded either participation satisfactory or participation unsatisfactory. And the reason for this is that the determining and defining what imagination is and in week number three what creativity is is really important and whilst we all have our own understandings of what imagination uh, might be and those are beginning to emerge beautifully in the conversations that we've been having there is also a wealth of literature that underpins imagination and definitions of our imagination and it's important as we continue through the unit that we're aware of that literature and we understand that literature and we're able to form a perspective about the literature and about the definitions of imagination and creativity that are put forward. So in forum 2a you're being asked to draw upon the literature that's provided in the, in the unit and to also source at least one of your own um, pieces of literature, or not, not one of your own literature, pieces of literature in terms of that you've written it, but to source a bit of literature yourself that has some kind of definition and unpacking of imagination. So your response in Forum 2A needs to be embedded into uh, the research about imagination. And in addition, part of what you're doing is you're, you're practicing your APA referencing. So the, the forum post is, is graded in the sense that it's either going to be marked participation satisfactory or participation unsatisfactory, unsatisfactory. but you can have as many goes as you, as you need to get to that participation satisfactory. So you may find that um, your post is, is of a good enough quality initially for participation satisfactory to be, to be added to that, that post, for your post to be graded in that way. Or you may find that in the feedback that is provided by your e-moderator, so myself and Kerry, that a little bit of work needs to be done either on your thinking around imagination or most probably to do with your, your APA referencing. So this is a practice. It's, a, it's an opportunity to actually craft some of those skills of um, critical thinking, analytical thinking in terms of imagination and the development of your APA. So if you get some feedback that says, um, you know, the APA needs to be changed. All you need to do is respond to that feedback with a message that's got the, the sort of recrafted APA referencing in. And, you know, as long as the, the referencing is then, is then of a good enough quality, um, your, your post will be, you know, the, your grade will be changed to participation and satisfactory. And that then leads through to um, a successful successful completion of workshop two. So I don't want you to see this as being um, dictatorial or in any way um, sort of designed to catch people out. It's actually completely the reverse. It's, we're starting the process of understanding how feedback can be given in the online space and how that feedback actually helps us further our thinking and further our ability to um, craft really good academic responses to some of these really sort of fluid and nebulous questions such as what might imagination be?